What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another JTAG tutorial and this is on how to install XX Menu version 1.2. Now this tutorial is mainly for you people that don't know how to install XX Menu and have just recently purchased the JTAG or have got their JTAG from somewhere or even JTAG your own console. Uh, this tutorial is mainly for you. If you already know how to do this, then uh, you won't obviously be watching this. So hopefully I can help you out. And at the end of this tutorial, you should have XEX Menu version 1.2 successfully on your JTAG or RGH. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is plug a memory stick storage device into your console and boot up your console. Once your console is successfully booted up, we're going to go ahead and go to the settings, system settings, storage, wait for the storage devices to load. Um, you'll see a hard drive and a USB storage device. We're gonna click on the USB storage device. Click configure now, hit yes, and wait for the memory stick to configure. This step is very important. Make sure you do this. Um, it should take around two minutes to configure, and then we're gonna go ahead and go over to the PC and put XCX menu on the memory stick. Okay guys, it is successfully configured. We hit okay on the message and we can now wait for it to say memory unit. Once it says memory unit, you can then take your USB device out of your console and plug it into your computer. Okay guys, so once you have plugged your memory stick in the computer, go ahead and download XX menu version 1.2 in the description below and save it to your desktop. Once you've done that, go ahead to the horizonmb.com's website. Go ahead in the top right hand corner, click on download horizon download it, save it to your desktop and go ahead and install it. So you should have two things. Okay guys, so you should have two things, Horizon and XEX menu. First thing you're going to want to do is extract XEX menu. Once you've extracted it, you'll see these folders and in the folder you'll see a file which is named code 9990F586558. We're going to be needing that in just a second. So open up Horizon. Once Horizon is open, you should see a device explorer. This is saying that your USB device is plugged in and can be found. The next thing we're going to want to do is just drag and drop code 999 file, not the folder, the file, into Horizon and you should see this screen here. So this is basically saying that this is XX menu version 1.2. Notice that the profile ID is zero and the device ID is zero. You don't need to worry about this because we're just gonna be putting it on the, uh, the USB stick. So go ahead and click save to device, flash drive, and you can bring this across and you should see this little bar just showing you how long it's going to take. Okay, now the following packages were successfully transferred to the flash drive XX menu 1.2. You can go ahead and hit okay. And if we go into the demos folder, you should see XX menu version 1.2 and the size should be around 203 megabytes. The next thing we're going to want to do is close Horizon because we don't need that no more. Plug the USB stick back into our console. Once the USB stick is in, you should see memory unit. Go ahead and go into memory unit, demos, and you'll see XX menu 1.2 game demo. Go ahead and click on it click move and simply move it to your hard drive. Once moved to your hard drive, go ahead and go into your hard drive, then demos, and just make sure that it is successfully there. Um, and that will let you know that the XEX menu version 1.2 has gone on. Go ahead, go back to the home screen, go into my games, scroll to the right, and you should see XEX menu 1.2 there. Go ahead and launch it. Now the profile box may pop up, if it does then go ahead and click the guide button, you don't need to worry about that. But this is, uh, this is basically how to install XX Menu version 1.2 on your JTAG or RGH and as you can see here we have my games, if we hit the left bumper you can change the skins by pressing the right and left on the D-pad, um, we can change the skin auto scaling, you can see the temperatures of your CPU, GPU, the RAM. You can see the current JTAG's IP address. Go ahead and press LB. You can see the USB stick. If we hit right on the D-pad, this is the root of the hard drive. So I'll let you experiment with this, but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and it is a must with a JTAG or RGH. I hope I have helped you a bunch. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you next time. Peace.